Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Wednesday, August 7, 2024. Our reading today comes to us from Isaiah 54, reading verse 17. And it says, No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper, and every tongue that rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. Amen. Now, these are some comforting words to us this morning. And we are being reminded by the servant that God is a just God. Now, it says that every weapon that form against us, it will not prosper. And I know when you read that, you might be saying to yourself, but why do I go through struggles then? Or why do people still tell lies on me? Why do I feel like I am hated for no reason? Why are people gossiping about me falsely? Why are all these things happening? If the Bible and the Lord is saying to me that, these things they will not prosper against me now let's decipher this first of all the bible tells us that we are in a great controversy yes and we live in a world of real struggles but protection as it pertains to god does not exempt us from all maladies and trials in this world and I know that might be a strange way to put it but what we can be assured of is that God will judge those who judge others and so even though someone may gossip about you even though someone may tell lies on you even though someone may rise up against you God always have a plan okay and as the reading says that person or that situation it will not become destructive towards you because god is going to be there to direct what needs to happen and if he allows it it therefore means that he have a purpose and a plan now wickedness will never ever ever overpower the things that are that are good now it also tells us that every tongue that rise against us in judgment it will be condemned in simple terms you and i have not been given the responsibility to judge anybody and therefore it is not our responsibility to cast judgment on anyone because how can i be a sinner and then be competent to judge another sinner do you see that so it therefore means that the only person who can judge a sinner is someone that is righteous and righteousness belongs to god and god alone now it tells us and it gives us comfort it tells us that this is our heritage this is a promise that he has made to his servants because only god as i said before is righteous and god's righteousness is his servant's righteousness because what his righteousness covers their unrighteousness and so if god have forgiven us of our sin and has covered us with his robe of righteousness then someone coming to judge us they are ultimately judging god do you see where I'm going? No. Who is more righteous? He that has committed sin or he that is without sin? Think about it for a second. Because if sin is in you and sin is in me, it therefore means that we are not righteous enough or righteous to judge anyone. And so therefore that responsibility falls on the one who that has never sinned and the only person 
that fit that description is God. And so, don't worry about those who seem to become an obstacle in your path or in your journey. Don't worry about those who talk about you, those who gossip about you, those who try to tear you down, those who try to make you look bad, those who try to do all manner of evil against you. Because what? As long as you are under the protection of God, those who do those things, they will never prosper against you. They will not prosper. God will not allow that to happen to you. You are under the protection of God and under the protection of heaven. And so therefore, no harm shall and will come to you. And as I said before, unless God allows it, and if he allows it, he has a purpose. So you don't got to worry. You don't got to worry. Because everything that happens, happens for a reason. And ultimately for your good, for my good. As long as we continue to trust God. Amen. So let us not judge because with that same judgment that we judge, we will be judged. That's what the Bible says. And so this morning, I encourage all of us that we will continue to trust God to take care of our problems for us, to take care of every situation that we are faced with. Trust God's process. Don't stress yourselves about those who seems like, you know, they just want to just get to you at every turn. Don't worry about them. You just leave them to God. Leave everything to God. Because God has got you. And he will never let you go. So don't let go of him. Amen. God bless you. And have a wonderful day. Amen.